explanation power uh, string comma power double comma int remember a space here if you do not give a space here it will show an error because it will confuse it with c in c in extraction of it okay so uh, assume you have power string comma whatever power double comma int p then for accessing the string you will use p dot first p dot first will return to you the string so p dot second is another par intent so is another par so p dot second dot first will give you the double part and p dot second dot second will give the in part so yeah access members using dot first and dot second double x equal p dot first integral yes yeah. yeah complex yeah they are basically used for the complex numbers in mathematics you, you you don't have to write all the complex functions so complex double c i mean instead of double you can use int also if all the complex numbers here you won't have are just int so complex double c of x comma y uh, it will initialize c such that the the basic format is radius comma angle yeah so in the imaginary plane the if you know the radius and the angle then you know the coordinates that is the default initialization x comma y is the it is x plus i y but you can also initialize it as polar of radius comma angle arg of c will give root of x square plus y square norm of c arg of c there are some functions i mean you can just look at it c1 into c2 like they have the usual math maths meaning of uh, Mass meaning of complex numbers. So, for basic geometry primitives, you will mostly require complex numbers, but you don't have to keep defining it, all of them. Yeah, so rotate vector v x y by 90 degrees. For that, v into complex double of 0, 1 will multiply. That is basic, I mean, that is true for him, even in max. Okay, so let's go to string stream. See, so it is exactly similar to C in and C out. So C in C out use STDIO, but string streams use strings. So one typical way of using them is O string stream OSS, and yeah, then you can basically use OSS like C out. So C out, this thing will work. So similarly, OSS of that will write all, all those to the string string, and then if you give OSS dot str, you can it will convert it to a string. So this will be use this in programming context because you don't have to write functions for converting integers to string, string to integers and all. This will automatically take care of that. Similarly, I string stream. If you have a string, you don't need to parse it manually. You can use I string stream like this to parse it. Yeah. Yeah, usage EDM. So these are some techniques for conversion between data structures and so on. So, yeah, basically all the containers, vector, set, etc. Take, take a pair of pointers and it will take us input all the elements in that range. So, basically if you have int f of n equal to many values, then set, set of int f comma f plus n will basically create a set with all the elements in f, with the, all the elements in between the start pointer and the end pointer, which are, which are in this case, uh, the whole array. So, yeah, vector and string have another handy uh, constructor. Vector of t initialize size comma initial value of each element. So, vector of t phi comma uh, some some object of type t will create uh, a vector of that size, all initialized to the same initial value. Yeah, vector and of 10 comma 2 creates a letter of size 10 each element being 2 yeah traversal idioms so as i said before for set of int colon colon iterator it equal to s dot begin it not equal to s dot n plus plus it note that plus plus it in a set takes order log n time but yeah so this whole loop will take n log n time if there are n elements in set but in vector it takes only n time order n time so yeah so utility classes sort of v dot begin comma v dot begin we saw stable sort 
will maintain the stable property. You, okay, what the stable property is? Uh, yeah, it will preserve the order in which it occurred in the. So assume you have a uh, you have a structure. So in whatever order they appeared in the initial array, it will appear in the final array. So if you have some other uh, value associated along with the key, then although the keys are the same, the va values will differ, right, based on the order. So that uh, that order will be the same in stable sort. So v dot erase of unique of v dot b. This whole statement will erase all the unique elements. So if initially the vector has one comma three comma three comma four, after the statement the vector will only have one comma three comma four. So it will replace basically it will delete all the duplicate elements and may okay. Random underscore shuffle we saw. Accumulate v dot begin v dot end zero will sum sum up all the elements of the array. Reverse v dot begin v dot end we saw. Yeah, so to generate all the permutations of a of a given sequence, so first we we will sort it. Yeah, if we don't do not sort, we'll so start from the place where where you started. So do while next underscore permutation v dot begin v dot end. So inside each loop of this, you will have a permit have a permutation of the initial sequence. So yeah, so these are some examples of sorting. So first we saw the my function there. One way to define my function is bool my function int a and b, return a greater than b, and then use sort v dot begin v dot end comma my function. This will sort it in descending order. Or you can use the predefined greater int function, sort v dot begin comma v dot end comma greater int, yeah. Or sort and reverse, this will also sort in descending order. Or sort v dot r begin comma v dot r end. It will, v dot r begin, as I told before, it is just a reverse way of accessing the array. So this will sort in descending order. Yeah, as a summary, keep it simple. Try to use as many STL functions as possible. Do not try to write, uh, rewrite all the functions. Use the st standard data structures and standard idioms from the STL. And write compact code. So one more thing, uh, just to do better at programming contests, it's very good if you have some pre-written codes available with you. So things like segment trees or uh, Fenwick trees, or meaning whenever you write code, you have to first include few libraries, right? You include a few libraries, then you write using namespace, std, and all. So you can have that as a template with you. You can also have a few pre-written pre codes, like the code for Fenwick tree, code for try, and all, with you ready so that when you are participating in a contest you can directly include those codes and then start writing the <coughs> algo. So the thing is that more emphasis should be on algorithms rather than coding. So it's always better to have meaning if if you can get time then it's, it will be better if you can implement it today itself. However for those of you who already have those pre-written codes uh, I, I will also note down a few problems which are based on what has been taught today. You can attempt those problems. Um, if you find any problem, meaning if you have any issue solving the problem, you can discuss it with us. Um, all these problems are present in Spodge. I'll be just telling the code of the problems. One is GSS1. The other is GAN hat, G-A-N-N-H-A-T. and G A N N H A T hat and then INC sequence uh, S E Q INC S E Q so those of you who already have codes please attempt these, these problems those of you who don't have them please make it a point to make uh, write codes for whatever has been taught today Write some basic code, do a uh, little bit of testing on any data, so that should do. As a ex uh, few exercise problems, uh, I'll just speak out the code. It's uh, C trick from Spodge, C trick, uh, expedi, that's expedition problem, expedi. Then another problem is cornet, C-O-R-N-E-T, cornet. Uh, then there's a problem frequent f r e q u e n t frequent all in caps 
and I guess that's it, these four problems. Akhil, any more problems for you? Yeah, uh, uh, in, uh, uh, in binary index trees, you can go in Matsum, you can try INB, CNT, that is inversion count, Matsum. There are some problems which you can use, solve using balanced trees too. So one, one being C trick, uh, another one being one another top order problem which again is in the slides. Uh, there is another problem, those who have just started with heaps, uh, that's promotion, the code is PRO on Spodge. So that's a very basic problem for heaps if you want to try. So let's see, in a heap, what do you require? Do you require a minimum or let's say you require a maximum or uh, you need to insert an element or you need to delete an element. So whether set s dot begin is the pointer to the first element which is the least element as I told, the numbers are in increasing order. So if you do a star of s dot begin, you will get the uh, least element. Uh, s dot n points to the end of set, actually minus minus s dot n will point to the end of set. So if you do a star of that, you will get the highest element. You want to do an insert? Just do s dot insert whatever you want. If you want to delete, you just do s dot erase whatever you want. All of these are login operations. The minimum and maximum are login operations. Same as the case with Right? So that way you don't have to write a code for you. One more problem that you can try out as suggested by one of the participants is cache around spots. For interval.